زي مشاهدي اليوم السادس اهلا بيكم يوم بعد يوم اسعار المورجج بتتغير ودلوقتي احنا بنشوف من بنك اوف كندا تغييرات كتيره قوي بتحصل في الانترست ريت السؤال هنا دلوقتي هل انا افكر ان انا انفست في الريل استيت في كندا في بري كونستراكشن ولا في سيل اني احسن اللي هيقدر يجاوبنا على السؤال ده النهارده ضيفتي وزميلتي شيرل بس قبل ما نرحب بيها في البرنامج هاي شيرل ويلكم تو اليوم السادس ذا داي 6 ثانك يو ماي ماكتي قبل ما نرحب بشيرل خلينا نعرف مين هي شيرل هو 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 شيرل ليتس هاف ذيس بايو اباوت هير اند ويل كم باك Cheryl Lewis Smith, dedicated wife and mom to three sons. Cheryl knows how to get things done and is excited to share her energy, expertise, and passion for real estate with her clients. A longtime Oakville resident, Cheryl has always been focused on the needs of others, as evidenced by her Bachelor of Science in Nursing degree from Western University. The career path that followed allowed her to consistently and successfully play the role of the advocate and champion. one that she continues today in her role as a sales representative with Royal LePage Signature Realty. Always looking out for the best interests of her clients and a self-described fixer, Cheryl is thrilled to be able to match her clients with their dream properties, whether it is for a long-term investment or to help build a legacy for their families. She knows that finding the right realtor is just as critical as finding the right property, and Cheryl's palpable integrity and honesty puts her clients at ease. They know they are in more than capable hands. An avid gardener, enthusiastic seasonal decorator, and talented baker, Cheryl's interests are perfectly in line with someone who loves everything about real estate, inside and out, and who loves making houses into homes. وبعد ما عرفنا شوية عن شيرل وعرفنا شخصيتها والباكجراوند بتاعها خلينا نرحب بشيرل ويلكم شيرل تو ذا شو ثانك يو ثانك يو سو ماتش اتس ان اونر تو بي هير يا ثانك يو شيرل فور كامينج توداي تو اور شو اند وي ار غونا ديسكاس اكزاكتلي ا بروجكت بات بيفور وي جو تو ذات بروجكت ذات اتس ريسنتلي لونشد ان اوكفيل وير اكشلي شيرل جرون اب ان ان اوكفيل سو شي از مور بايس تو اوكفيل اي ام فروم ميسيساغا بات وي ار تيم توجذر توداي ذير از نو فايت And um, I would like to ask you first, uh, how do you see the inflations and the current uh, jump in the interest rate and how this affect the real estate market from your viewpoint? Um, you know, I think it has been a necessary uh, calming of our real estate market. Things were certainly in the beginning of the first quarter of this year, absolutely um, crazy. Yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> There is no better way to describe right. the way the market went in the in the first quarter of this year. So definitely, I think government needed to step in, right. calm things down. Uh, we needed some pricing adjustments, and um, I feel like it's starting to level off. That we're probably coming towards the bottom yep. of, of you know the correction, and I think that we should start to make a path forward soon. Yeah. Usually, yeah. usually, Cheryl, people usually compare resale to con- reconstruction when it comes to investors. Investors mm-hmm. think of, yeah, I can have a rental property, yes. a resale one in wherever, mm-hmm. Mississauga, Oakville, and GTA, mm-hmm. and I make money from renting immediately on the spot. Mm-hmm. But others think of pre-construction. So why are, why people are now focusing on pre-construction, especially with the, those jumps in interest rate? No, I think um, with this particular project not being, uh, you know, occupancy until 2026, it will give the market some time to calm down. I do truly believe that interest rates will start to level off and then begin to drop back a little bit. So it will give you a nice window of time to allow the market and so the interest rate to... So it's a kind of a deferral technique yeah, you're, you're that deferring, we can use. Yeah, yeah. deferring the interest rate. Until, Until June four 26? years, June 2026 yeah. is the first occupancy that we're looking at. So yeah. I think it's a great opportunity to invest and allow that uh, property to appreciate over those four years without having to incur the higher interest rates that are out there right now. Amazing. Thank yeah. you. So let's jump into the project. We have a project in 
just launched in Oakville. It's in uh, Bronte and uh, Lakeshore. It's called uh, Bronte Lakeside. Mm -hmm. That's the project that we have on the screen now. And I know that you love the project. I know that you are very obsessed by the area. So location, location, location. Usually we are saying that. And it's a stunning location in uh, Oakville. It's in the artery of Oakville. Uh, it's a really amazing spot. So tell me more about the location. Sure. So I think Magdi mentioned it earlier that I do have a real bias towards Oakville. I've lived in Oakville for 25 years now. Uh, I've raised my family there. We live... Uh, don't say that 25 years now we are gonna <laughs> we are gonna count how old oh no, no no don't say that okay, okay. um i uh i live within a five minute drive of this actual location it is a community that i go to and participate in the lovely events along the waterfront walking the trails enjoying the lovely restaurants and retail boutiques that are in this little community it, it really it is part of the heart of Oakville. And if you're a boater or enjoy just the beautiful water views, you can't go wrong. Mm -hmm. It's just stunning. It's a stunning community. So when we look at the structure of the building, yes. uh, I think there are lots of expensive uh, terrace and uh, yes. balconies. And so the, the developer has really uh, targeted a very chic and boutique yeah. development. It is not um, a giant tower. It's uh, six stories it, to help fit in with the community and make it even more beautiful with some beautiful brick and stone finishes on the exterior of the building. Most of our units also have beautiful balconies and terraces. Um, just really enriching uh, the already beautiful neighborhood that it's going to be built in. So why not to walk us through the building? I think we have a video. Can we can uh, ask our director to show that video where we can walk us through the building mm -hmm. and you can, do you mind if you comment on that? I will certainly comment Perfect. on it. So this is off of Bronte Road. This is coming right into our lobby area where there will be concierge. Um, and very secure private access into this building. It is equipped with uh, all the latest smart technology to keep you safe and allow you to control your uh, condominium from anywhere in the world, from wherever you might be. You can see that from this sixth floor unit, they have sweeping views across the lake. Uh, this particular unit also has some views into our lovely courtyard. A number of the units, in fact, most of the units on the sixth floor, uh, although this is our premier suite, the largest suite, most of the units have their own private rooftop terraces with private staircase access directly up to your rooftop so that you're not sharing these spaces with others. It gives you a little feel in the video here for the level of quality that the builder has put into the finishes, these standard finishes of the building. Obviously, when we come to decor time, you know, or two years maybe before you're taking possession, there's always also the opportunity to go in and completely customize your unit to your, your tastes and design choices. So this just gives you a feel for standard finishes in the building, which are completely high end. It will be um, engineered hardwood and large tiles, quartz countertops with undermount sinks in bathrooms and kitchens. Just beautiful. Now, this gives you a real interesting view of uh, the balcony areas in the building, looking down into our private courtyard. It is only for residences, and now we are taking our private stairs from this particular unit up to a rooftop terrace where you can really get a sense for how close we are wow. to the shores of Lake Ontario. Yeah. Doesn't get closer. This is again an example of the private rooftop terraces. Um, in a minute, we will, the video will take us out a little gate and around to the other side of the building where it's the shared amenity space. So no matter where you purchase in our building, um, you have the opportunity to enjoy this space right here. So this is a shared amenity space off of Bronte Lakeshore. All of the residences 
uh, that live here are welcome to use this space. There will be places to eat, electric barbecues, and stunning 360 degree views of the lake and the green space that is Oakville. So anyone lives in those 206 units? 203 203 units, units correct can entertain this view uh, with can, no limitations and, and can anyone. enjoy the barbecue area and everything correct correct or that beautiful courtyard if you're looking for just a quiet place to right. read a book or enjoy yeah. some greenery yes lots so, of green space amazing in this building. yeah so what kind of what type of your or profile of your customers that you might expect them to come i know that there are plenty of units that are now are booked uh like kind of half of them now almost booked. Yes, and it's been very busy. Yeah, <laughs> I know. Uh, but what based on this first screening of first mm -hmm. people, they knock your doors. Mm -hmm. uh, what kind of customers that you have? Like, what are the signals? Certainly, we've had a really interesting mix of people come into the building. Mm -hmm. um, we've had a number of end users, which I think always bodes well for um, the way a, a building sort of feels and it ends. Uh, you know the longevity of the building and how people treat mm -hmm. their home right mm -hmm. if if you live there you have a special kind of care that you take of things uh, we've also had a number of um, parents coming in actually looking to purchase for their children uh, I have three examples even just in this past week mm -hmm. of people coming in and looking and it was kind of funny because a gentleman came in and he had his daughter with him and then he and she was a little bit older she was finished university and he said as he walked out if she gets one I'll have to buy one for my son as well so you yeah. know I think we have a really lovely mix we do also have some investors who are looking at the building but it's a really nice mix of yeah of people yeah, when I in. when I came with my clients and I mm -hmm. saw you there, when I came uh, for my clients, I mean, I saw that you have uh, lots of seniors also retiring, yes. and they love to stay in those nice. Uh, yes, so rooms. you know we have a lot of um, uh, Oakville is a very affluent community, mm. uh, and we have a number of people who are downsizing from their rather large mm. single-family homes to our building. And we actually, it's rather unique. Um, the builder really wants to make this building very customized to their clients, to you, the customer. They're combining units and, um, you know, putting two together to get uh, maybe a slightly larger uh, yeah. property so that, you know, when they're moving out of their three to 6,000 square foot home, they're coming into 1,500 to 2,000 square yeah. foot apartments. So they want something that's, you know, very custom. Yeah, and the perfect. builder is willing to do that for everyone. Which yeah, is... I would like also to ask uh, uh, viewers. من فضلكم ممكن تكلمونا على التليفون اللي موجود على الشاشة two eight nine two seven four eight zero one one and ask any questions. Uh, if you have uh, any question in mind, throw it to us, and we will try to answer this. Even uh, if you send it in our messages, we will uh, ask Cheryl to answer this those questions to you later, and we'll get back to you. So feel free to ask any question anytime, even while we have the show or uh, on your comments or and or you or even you can text us uh, uh, privately. We have no problem to answer all of those questions. I see also in your flyers that you target the young educated people because it's a very close to McMaster University. We have a lot of shortage of student homes. Oakville mm -hmm. is, is unique mm -hmm. and it's like. 20 minutes from McMaster, I it's guess. A, it's, about a, it's about 30 minutes. 30 minutes it's also yeah. about 30 minutes to all of the great universities in downtown Toronto. Yeah. So my son goes to U of T mm -hmm. and takes the GO train in. Yeah, GO train is close to that. It's very close yeah. to this building. It's a less than eight-minute drive, I mm -hmm. believe, to the GO train. So very accessible to get uh, to even the QEW heading down to the States. You know, mm -hmm. we're really... At a nice location, if you travel for work a lot, uh, it's about 30 minutes to the airport from this location as well. Mm -hmm. So it's a really nice central place to um, be able to access a lot of the great things the GTA has to offer. Perfect. From travel to education. Yeah. Yeah. So I the, the learn the the lesson I learned maybe in a hard way before I get uh, to uh, to be oriented with all preconstructions, selecting. Not only the location, the builder name, 
that who has a, a, a big name on that field is mm -hmm. key before you select the unit that you would like to have. Of course. Tell me more about that. Sure. So let me tell you a little about Alliance United. It's a group of four um, individuals who have come together and they all have some different dif disciplines and experiences and they make this fantastic team. So one of the developers uh, has done a few um, pre-construction works around uh, the area. So one being Bridgewater in um, Burlington. He participated in construction of that particular development as well as um, some things up in Muskoka. Hmm. So he's worked all around sort of Ontario. Uh, another one of our developers is in the finance area. Um, she's absolutely amazing. Uh, the third developer is, um, he does a lot of commercial development. Hmm. Yeah, around the GTA. So he's done a ton of things and some also owns some Tim Hortons franchise. So yeah, and the last guy is actually an engineer. So we've mm. got a real solid team that is Alliance United. And then they have um, outsourced the actual physical construction of the building to a company out of Burlington, which is very close to Oakville, right next door neighbor to our west. Uh, and that particular construction company actually has um, constructed a building that is half a block away from where this building will be. So they have extensive experience in working right literally at that very corner of Oakville on mm. uh, building a very large retirement residence. Um, and it's very recent. It was, I think it's four or five years old. So wow. there's that. And then they've also utilized the services of IBI uh, architecture um, firm. And they actually designed the condominium that currently exists. It's about 10 years old. That is a block up the road mm. from them. So everyone who's working in the area is super, super familiar with the, the geology and building in the area and what, you know, to expect as they start to erect our beautiful building. So it's kind so of... So it's a neat. great repetition. It's a great Not team. only one builder, but a group of builders. It is a team. And one of them is commercial. Speaking of commercial, I believe mm -hmm. that this building has a unique commercial yes. uh, units as well, in yes. addition to the residential parts, right? It does. Correct. So we have uh, 22, almost 22,000 square feet of commercial uh, space available for sale on the uh, first floor of this building. Yes. Mm -hmm. The entire first floor will be commercial, mm. which is Amazing. really a unique offering. When we you walk us through the, the, the units, there was uh, amazing... Uh, finishing and we would like to talk about finishing because my customers they are unique they mm -hmm. like to know that finishing and these those yes. small details is key for them yeah so how can i get them engaged and i need your help in that part oh uh you know the standard set of finishes for this building is actually already very very bes bespoke um you know it's not la it's not laminate it's engineered hardwood flooring it's um you know uh, quartz countertops it's full-sized or large refrigerators even in smaller units that are um, we did have a little bit of trouble with supply uh, because of COVID mm -hmm. yeah. <laughs> so the samples that are in our um, sales room in terms of appliance package isn't exactly as bespoke as the vendor mm. would like so they're looking at higher end um, appliances and that sort of thing, uh, larger tiles, the 12 by 24, more yeah. modern finishes. Yeah. It's just, it's really stunning. And, and that's our standard offering, right? So once you come to your decor moment, mm -hmm. when the builder calls you to say, come and yeah. pick your finishes, there will be a plethora of choices in terms of customizing Perfect. it to your specific tastes. And yeah. I mean, it is... Honestly, I know I mentioned it a little bit at the beginning, but there are very few builders who would be willing to combine units and work with you and the architects and the engineers to truly create a custom home mm. in a condominium. Generally, they give you, you know, your 15, 20 floor plans and that's what you get. Yeah. We have over 80 floor plans and are more than willing to work with anyone to right. let them make it their home if they choose. So we have golden opportunities because we have uh, a platinum access now, I guess, right? Oh, 
Amazing so, uh, opportunity, yes. So, I'm one of those lucky people. So Mag yeah. Magdi is your guy. So Magdi is able to get you in. We are not open to the public. We are not even open to regular real estate agents. Yeah. We are open by appointment only to platinum agents at this time and their clients. Um, yeah. So he's getting you in at earlier pricing. Yep. Yeah. Um, and with the most selection that will be, and and again, back to that whole customization thing, you know, this is when you can do that, um, you know, a few months down the line, uh, mm. they may not be able to offer that anymore, yeah. right? So and you told me that flexibility, they can, you can get selected two units close to each other and you can open up those. Make it one big And make it one big unit. That's so instead of having a 700, 750 square feet, you can have double that's 1,400 square feet for that. Square feet, Amazing. yeah. And, and uh, quite a few people are really yeah, like capturing that. that. And yeah. again, that only serves to create more valuable real estate within that building, right? right. Yeah. So it's a great way to invest, even if you ended up buying a smaller unit for a student or a child down the road, right? You're still in a building where they're really looking to create a boutique environment that is very high end and custom. So interesting. It's yeah, it's a neat. Wow. It, honestly, it's I sound crazy, I know, but it is not something that most builders will do. I agree. So I have some questions, but maybe we can discuss those questions while we while you walk us through the brochure and sure. the details about how it looks from inside. Let's sure. walk through that. I, oh. I guess the building itself, it's a Lakeshore and Bronte. Could we go back to Can the previous? Can you go back to the previous one? Yeah. Okay. So, so here's Lakeshore, right? Yes. Yeah, so, um, yeah, I almost wish I could. Yeah. So this building, it fronts right on the corner of Lakeshore and Bronte Road in Oakville. Um, you can see that it's a, a U-shaped building. Um, and the ghosted images in behind are existing uh, structures uh, as well as our harbor that's in behind the building. Now, what this image does not show you is that to the south, so at the sort of ends of the U to the south in that direction, is a huge that's expanse you. of oh, Lake Ontario, yeah. which uh, is not to be missed, truly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And also looking at this image, you can see that there are a number of private rooftop terraces um, along the east side and bordering on Lakeshore and the inner courtyard. So all of those little, looks like little houses on the top of the building are your private spaces. And Whoa. then uh, as you get to Bronte Road, you will see where there's some sort of trees on the top of the building. You will see that that is the shared amenity space. So it's really a unique building. There's water on, you know, two sides. Mm -hmm. This is our second floor space. So um, to the left of that image, or my left, um, is a party room, a place where you can host larger events. There will be a catering kitchen there, some places to sit and relax on the couches. And that leads out into our second floor private courtyard, which is the image on your screen now. Um, then we're going on to the third floor here with our wellness center, which will have a place to work out as well as a yoga studio. And then the next one is our co-working space. So a lot of people are working from home now, right? Mm -hmm. uh, this affords you the opportunity to have clients in to the building, but not into your own condominium where you can have meetings or groups of meetings or maybe you just need to get away and have a quiet space to work, you're able to use this portion of the building for that, as well as a games room. And then last but not least, we've moved on to the rooftop terrace, which is for everyone. And you can see how nicely the builder has mm. divided up the space so that there are pl quiet places to read a book, there are places to sit with groups of people, there are places to dine, there are electric barbecues, lots of plants. You'll also notice the building has some uh, green roof and that serves two purposes. Obviously it's a beautifully aesthetic uh, feature of the building, but it also serves to uh, slow rainwater runoff into, uh, into the sewage system. So it's like a, it uh, serves a very environmental purpose as well. Not only is it pretty, it helps the earth. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So speaking of uh, nature and earth and beauty of uh, back to the nature, 
I think simplicity is the key and you have unique advantages of uh, going back to the nature and uh, have uh, eco-friendly stuff in the building. Oh, uh, yes. Yes, this is the screen that uh, it talks oh. about the smart uh, energy system that you have. Yes. Can you elaborate more about that for most of my audience, uh, it's quite new to them to see this right. kind of uh, okay. uh, energy savings and right. quality. So, so let, let me preface, preface this with I am not an engineer or a geologist. Yeah. Um, but this I, is your disclaimer first. I would I like to say yeah. I would like to say that this, since I've learned about this system, it has literally blown my mind. Yeah. Um, so. Let me start by talking about geothermal. So there are very big differences between geothermal and geoexchange. So what we are going to be putting into this building is geoexchange. Geothermal systems are generally uh, one or two boreholes into the ground. Um, true geothermal needs to go several kilometers down in order to truly um, work down. effectively. Mm. Uh, and that just generally isn't done in Ontario. Um, a lot of the geothermal systems that exist that people might be familiar with are actually sort of a hybrid system. Mm. Uh, so uh, some of the things that people are finding with geothermal is that it does not have the capacity to um, heat or cool comfortably, especially in situations where there is a real heat snap that lasts for a long time or a cold snap that lasts for a long time. And it's, it's, it comes down to the premise, and I'm, I'm sure I'm oversimplifying, but you stick a straw in the ground, that's your borehole. And if you're constantly sucking, sucking the energy out of the earth, the earth doesn't have the time to replenish that energy. It takes some time. Mm. Um, so, you know, they end up in buildings with geothermal having to add ancillary heating and cooling systems. Um, and it kind of defeats some of the purpose of geothermal. Mm -hmm. Now, let's talk a little bit about geo exchange. So this particular building will actually have more than 40 boreholes. 40. 40, 40. Zero. Four zero. Correct. Right. Yeah, okay. more than. Yeah, I don't. You don't I see the structure create, showing yes, like, um, yeah, to, like a model or example of that. Correct. Yeah. To, to truly create an energy field, mm -hmm. um, it only goes down about 140 meters, mm -hmm. and the entire building will be piped with um, tubes, basically, that will be absorbing the heat energy from the building in the summertime and taking it down into the earth and storing it, mm. right? It's like replenishing the energy there and drying up as needed to heat or cool uh, for the winter or for the summer. So it allows this building to do a number of things. Um, we can simultaneously heat and cool any unit. Um, so for those of you who enjoy uh, having the air conditioning on in the winter, you are safe to do so. <laughs> so somebody says that it might be expensive for me because that takes from my power at home right. to, to cool or heat that uh, so, J blah, blah, blah. Sure. So mm. it's, a very, it's a very energy efficient, well insulated building. I mean, our windows will even be uh, low E windows. And this system doesn't need to use electricity it uses the energy that it's constantly recycling so it creates a true battery and energy field mm. that they can draw upon much more easily than a geothermal unit with only a borehole or maybe two boreholes okay right so um, it doesn't have the same deficiency of energy that causes you to have to resort to electricity mm. the second thing that we also have in this building is a gas generator or co-generator that um, helps to moderate and and keep the heating and cooling yeah, so being efficient. It's not going to take from my personal power at the home. It's going to be from taken from the gas generator. Correct. That covers the whole building in mm -hmm. case of there's a shortage. So that's correct. Yeah, yes, that's correct. And this gas generator and the system is so efficient that even if we have a power outage, mm. you will be able to run this entire building from your electricity to your heating and cooling for more than 72 hours. Mm. Amazing. So the rest of uh, the city can have melting ice cream in their freezers and no electricity and everybody in this building will be fine. So I'm going to tell you all the 
بناخد لوكيشن هاي ستانينج لوكيشن ان ذا برونتي اند ليك شور كونكتد تو يعني في امكانيه ان انت تقدر تعمل ديفيرل للمورجج بيمنت اللي انت هتدفعها السنه دي او السنه الجايه في الانترست ريت العالي انت بتدفع 2026 يعني بعد ثلاث uh, سنين من دلوقتي uh, بنتكلم في ثلاث اربع سنين كمان uh, uh, فما عندكش مشكله غير ان انت تدفع بس الداون بيمنت طب كان وي توك مور اباوت ذا بيمنت شيدول لايك وي هاف بيكوز يو سيد ذات وي كان ديفير ذا فول اماونت ذا مورجج لايك ذا 80% اوف اوف ذا بيمنت تو بي ان جون 2022 26 26 اي سيد ناو وي ار دوينج Yeah. yeah, so um, we had a slide, I think, if if we could yeah. perhaps bring that up, that will tell you what the payment structure is like. Yeah. So this is our deposit structure. And as you can see, at 180 days, um, we're looking at basically 10% down, mm-hmm. right? So there's a $5,000 deposit initially. Um, and then we need the balance to 5% of the price of the, build- of the unit in 30 days. Then you have the next 5% at 180 days. And then you have up to a year and a half before we need 15%. Mm-hmm. And we do not look for the last 5 to 20 until 2026. Yeah. So. Do we have a free assignment? Yes. Oh, okay. absolutely. That's nice. There That's is. Amazing. Yeah. 100%. At this point in time, again, oh, yeah. because you Now. are here in early yeah. days, that is one of the platinum features That's what I'm for your client. For us to 100%. book now, yes. Yes, there yeah. is free assignment. There is occupancy, uh, free leasing on occupancy. Mm-hmm. Um, there is a good uh, price on the... Parking spots plus package for storage and parking. Excellent. Wow, that's nice. Yeah, you've got some real advantages. He's, yeah. he's, you've got first look pricing for sure. Right. And we have mm-hmm. limited units that they have a nice view for the lake, right? I know that's not easy to find one spot there. No, but yeah. I, would, I would also say that it doesn't matter where you are in the building. Everyone is welcome yeah. to the sixth floor where the, the premium view Yeah. sits from that rooftop yeah. terrace Amazing. for everyone yeah yeah so uh do we have any images that we can share again with uh 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 with our uh, viewers uh i think we spared all of them correct i think right. we've been through most of them most of them right mm-hmm. yeah there are some Beautiful images of the interiors, just so that you can get a better sense for the finishes. Yeah. The builder, the builder lives in this, the, the developers live in this community. So they are really care about creating and improving on their, their own mm-hmm. home. Mm-hmm. Literally. Yeah, yeah, they care, right? And the proximity to excellent schools. Yeah. Uh, Oakville also has a number of private educational schools all yeah. around Oakville. There are It's lots of a... private schools that are very close to the yes. units. And, yeah. and uh, the building also has proximity to a beautiful little um, beachfront area mm. on, on the other side of the harbor. It's just a short walk. It's about yeah. three blocks to a beautiful beachfront area. Nice. Yeah. The Business yeah. Association in, in that Bronte community has lots of events in the summer. They'll have classical music in the park, on the water. For evenings for free take a stroll down it's just it's a beautiful place to be especially if you enjoy water and the outdoors yeah mm-hmm. so let's uh, take a break and we will come back in two minutes أعزائي مشاهدي اليوم السادس ورجعنا لكم تاني. Uh, I believe we are getting questions uh, from 
different uh, viewers, uh, especially for Cheryl today. So, uh, Cheryl, you can say hello. Hi, how are you? Hi, how are you, Cheryl? It's a pleasure to talk to you with Maggie right now. Uh, I have been watching that area for more than 10 years. Uh, I'm running uh, a business even till now on the same building before demolishing. Uh, I do have a question regarding the uh, price. Hmm? Yeah, go ahead. Yes, go ahead. Now, now regarding, I was watching, I was looking to the price today uh, with Magdi, uh, and I found that the charge uh, per square feet regarding the balcony, you add it with the cost. And uh, uh, I, I own few property, and I... I doubt that I paid money for the balcony. I just paid money for the net area. Uh, the other things, despite the fact uh, that the timing is uh, is very critical now, and they have seen a lot of builders uh, throwing the uh, the parking and the storage to be included with the price. Mm -hmm. Is that something it will be considered? Um, Thank you sort of a, a two-part question there. So let me answer the first one. Um, we have had a ton, a ton of interest. I can't yeah, I can, <laughs> trust that enough. I can witness that. You know, um, so I can tell you that we are watching what is happening uh, with other developments uh, all across the GTA. And at this point in time, our demand is so high and the builder is being so very particular about making it very custom for people, like I said, allowing people to come in and put two units together and that sort of thing. They're not really at a point yet where they're going to start to include um, things like parking and that sort of thing. I know a number of those developments have probably been out for a while. So we have come in at sort of early pricing you know, uh, I think they've been fairly sh sharp with their price per square foot. When you consider the fact that it is lakefront property, I mean, you can literally s hop across the road to, to the harbor. It's, yeah. you know, really a great value and at And it's this a great point. location uh, on the, like seeing the view, the view is... Oh. Stunning, stunning right, right? and yeah. and i think anywhere that you purchase real estate it's on a on a lake view the view it has to be different price right? yes it yeah commands a premium yeah right and again it's not um standard finishes yeah. like they've really taken the time to make it very bespoke and and beautiful yeah and yes. um, thank you so much for your question and uh, our pleasure to serve uh, you. your uh, your thank guidance you. and your advice thank, thank you, you very yeah, much thank, thank you. you very much uh, I guess this is still she's here. Hello, 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 hi, 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 um, very stunning location. Mm -hmm. uh, however, I would like to ask you a question, uh, if you don't mind. Not at all. Okay, thank you. So there are some news in the market, Cheryl. I'm not sure if this is rumors or like um, what's going on, but we are hearing a lot of stuff that uh, there are no more uh, new projects from builders due to the inflation rate and due to the high prices of the uh, pre-construction materials. And that there are so many builders who have even laid off workers and they have uh, stopped their projects. So first, my first question, is this, is this true? Like whatever we are hearing is the market, is it true or not? The second question, would the inflation rate and the prices going up like this uh, going up prices in the real estate market, would it affect uh, the, the pre-construction industry uh, in the coming years as well or not? That's a very good question. Thank you. Yeah, it's a great question. It's, it's, a, it's a lot of questions. Thank you so much. And, and really, Thank you so much. Thank you. Oh, appreciate you. It, Thank you. Thank you. Thank it, you, Magdi. Thank you, Cheryl. Thank oh, you. Bye-bye. Our pleasure. Yeah, bye. It, you know, I mean, I am not an economist, and I think economics is a very complex and complicated 
thing. Um, yes, some some builders did cancel some yeah. units. Absolutely. I mean, or, that's or, not a secret. Or somehow they, they've delayed they them. Or they've, delayed the, they've delayed yeah. them. Yeah. Until they see the full picture. That's right. To make their decisions accordingly. Yeah. That's correct. Um, and I think a lot of those uh, have been in areas where they were already starting to saturate a market. Mm -hmm. Um, as opposed to the fact that we at Bronte uh, are sure. currently the only new construction in that neighborhood. There are other things that could come along. There are some things you know, being proposed in the neighborhood, um, but they're not at the point that we're at in terms of being ready to build. Yeah. Right. So they may delay their units. We truly believe in our product. Yeah. And in Oakville as a market, as a real estate market. Um, Oakville has always been a very stable, strong area in the GTA in terms of its home values and those sorts of things. So the builders really do feel that they're prepared and ready to move forward. And that's why we came back to the first point we discussed about pre-construction is to select a good and a repetition a high repetition of the exactly. of a builder, right? Exactly. And I guess in, in your brochure, there is a cap, like there is a ceiling for the price. Maximum, I think the builder can increase maximum 15K um, uh, up to the end of the terms. He cannot add more money to that yes. because of that cap that we put when we sign. That's that correct. Group. It's I, I guess around 15K. I, it's my to my knowledge. I'm not positive right. off the top of yeah. my head, but yeah. yeah, there are cap development charges. Yes. Absolutely. That's 100%. actually to just assure yeah. anybody that yes. you sign that there is a figure that you cannot exceed that figure mm -hmm. and the builder is committed to mm -hmm. the figure to... until the year 2026. Right? Correct. Yeah. Absolutely correct. Yeah. Well, but mm -hmm. it's a good, very good question. It is a great question. Yeah. Yes. No. I, I received another question that from somebody that he. Uh, I know that he's not shy, but he wants to oh. send it through the comments. Sure, so okay. He says, uh, is this good for my kids? Because when we came from Egypt a long time ago, we were it's... planning that we are in Canada. It's fine. Yes. The kids will figure it out when they grown up. Mm -hmm. They will figure their lives. They will navigate their life easily. Yes. And nowadays with all the challenges, you have son and I have... I have three uh, sons. Three son. You have three sons. <laughs> I have one. But uh, it's hard for them. Yeah. to start their lives and navigate with these inflations and these hard challenges to get a secure mortgage with a good rate. So what, what as our parents can do just to help them, not to not to uh, pamper them and no. tell them, yeah, we are going to buy you everything, mm -hmm. but we can give them a push by 2026. Mm -hmm. They can start their life. Can you can you elaborate more about this? Sure. Um, you, need to you know, I think it's I think it's on any parent's heart right now yeah. right like yeah. i have three boys and yeah. and i lose lots of sleep at night yeah worrying about how they're going to um afford a home mm. and i think that um that generation our, our children they're going to have to be a little bit creative about mm. maybe how they get into the housing market and it is actually quite common uh i know i was looking at some research where uh it's i think something like 30 percent of new home buyers are receiving some support from, from their family, yeah. from their parents, you know, yeah. maybe, or grandparents, grandparents right? Yeah. You know, or maybe a rich uncle, I don't yeah. know, right? But yeah, yeah. <laughs> they are yeah. receiving, you know, I, I think it's it's a different world from when I grew up and started and bought my first home. And, you know, I know it was a struggle for my husband and I to get going. And we didn't have the help of our parents. And it is an objective of mine. And I know we talked about it a little bit before the show, yours as well, to make sure that we have our children in a position where they can at least begin on the um, real estate ladder, right? With some kind of a starter place to live. And I think, you know, if you're able to bless your children with something like that, um, in terms of purchasing now, knowing that, you know, over the last 40 years, the average value of a property has increased, you know, just more than 7% a year. Like, that's a 40-year average. I mean, where else could you invest your money and, and help your child have, you know, uh, that much of a head start over what the values are going to be four years from now? I can't right? agree more, yeah. They just, they just keep going, even if they keep with that 40 year average of just over 7%, you know, it becomes more and more and more attainable because 
um, incomes aren't necessarily getting keeping pace with that, right? Yeah. So if you can help your kids, my goodness, isn't yeah. that just the most amazing, yeah. amazing thing that you know yeah. you could do? Absolutely. Sure. Did I answer that question? I, I know believe it, uh, I have to use now. It's now one. It's one close to my heart. Yeah, I have it, three kids, it right? It, yeah. I really. I you did when I said I lose sleep, I lose sleep. Very true. Very true. For my babies, very touchy, right? Yeah. They'll always be my babies. Yeah. Perfect. Thank you so much for adding. So mm -hmm. the last question: What is the call to action? So I saw your viewer show. I saw that nice building. Oh. I saw those units. Oh, they have an example of units. Yes. Oh, yeah. Oh, yes. Uh, Could, did you want to have a look through like, some of the pictures? Uh, like one of those units, yeah. Mm -hmm. We can just. Yeah, we have some floor plans that the we can look at. Yes, yeah, absolutely. So while we are we talking about that, if time. I like that, what can I do? What exactly my next step? Sure. So the next step is to reach out to Magdi because he is the only way right now that you can get an appointment to come in and look at our sales center, walk our beautiful neighborhood, understand Oakville if you like. Um, and, and he's the only way for you to get in right now yeah. to an appointment. We are closed to the public. We are closed to everything but platinum agents. So he can answer your questions and help you. You can come and meet with myself. I have a number of colleagues at the sales center as well. We'd be happy to help you understand our development better and our beautiful community. So I think what's on the screen right now is an example of one of our sixth floor um, rooftop terrace suites. So you can see that these units all have both a balcony off of the main living area as well as stair, uh, private stair access to, in this particular case, 457 square feet of beautiful rooftop terrace, which would give you just stunning views Amazing. all around Oakville. Yeah. And, you know, we don't talk a lot about what is to the north of this building, but this is in a neighborhood where if uh, directly across the street is a lovely brand new uh, grocer and pharmacy, um, and then one block north of that is, you know, three and four million dollar homes mm -hmm. and beautiful trees. So the view Amazing. is green and the community is beyond safe and lovely. And it is an amazing location, uh, yeah. frankly. My son was uh, 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 browsing the brochure and I said, oh mm -hmm. my goodness, that's, a, that's amazing. <laughs> there Allah, you go. I need one. I said, okay, there yeah, in go. the near future. <laughs> so um, it's really good place and I mm -hmm. think uh, we should consider that. Uh, uh, you know how to reach me if uh, you don't know uh, my numbers on the screen if you have any questions and you can I know that you can reach me if you would like to uh, uh, walk through that through the uh, sales center or you would like uh, to have more uh, information from Cheryl uh, we can book appointment mm -hmm. and we can be there 100%. and she is the one who uh, get the best locations and a location as you know in this area is key so is key. if you like to choose the right unit or the best unit that you can one day mm -hmm. flip it mm -hmm. or live in it uh, or as make it assignment sale you need to select the right the right spot and uh, i'm here to help and i get you also Cheryl, so she can Happy help, to me help to get everyone the best location for my community and for my colleagues Absolutely. that they are watching today. A hundred percent. Cheryl, thank you so much oh, for your time today. My pleasure. I appreciate thank your, you. Uh, your it's been a real honor time to be here. having you here today in oh, our studio. Great. And it's uh, been so much fun. Who would like thank to you, see everyone. you again? Oh we we can book anytime. appointment to see you again. Absolutely would love to have you in. Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you everyone. أعزائي المشاهدي thank you so much. أعزائي المشاهدي اليوم السادس النهارده كان في استضافتنا زميلتي شيرل كنا بنتكلم عن برونتي ليك سايد بروجكت بري كونستراكشن ذات جاست ريسنتلي لونشد ان ذا ماركت خليكم معانا في كل يوم في جديد في اليوم السادس وتصبحوا على خير ثانك يو